It's Project for Awesome time, let's go. This is what I'm excited about. Hundreds of people create YouTube videos advocating their favorite charities and thousands of people collaborate goofily and awesomely with hosts on a 48 hour live stream. Together we advocate and discover charities, raise awareness and money through the Indiegogo fundraiser, and then vote on that money's distribution to decrease the world suck. This year I connect to and learn about the nonprofit in my local hometown of Binghamton called Safe Streets, or NOMA, which stands for North of Maine. Founded in 1996, it's a community organization on Binghamton's west side partnering with about a dozen local local agencies including residents, small business owners, community organizations, and local leaders that are dedicated to maintaining the quality of life, culture, growth, and connection of the city. It's a diverse community, and yet it's one of the poorest neighborhoods in the city of Binghamton. Nova's plan has been to prioritize improving the following 10 areas. The mansion on Walnut Street became the cornerstone for community and learning and sharing here. So I drove to Nova's fourth free Saturday morning breakfast to ask questions, get to know the volunteers and the founders, and just sit and enjoy free breakfast with the people that were there. Systems and places are the people that fill them. Here's the process. How we doing? We got, oh yeah. It takes a while to, behind the scenes. People are gonna go home with a full belly. There we go, I could, I could, I could edit that in earlier. This is the hub where people can come and there's usually someone yeah. here and they can come and have a cup of coffee and talk to each other. NOMA is an organization that is special to me. Mm -hmm. I've lived in this neighborhood since 1971. Where we're standing today is a place where my kids used to come. When we started this project, we did a neighborhood plan and we really sat down in this space and at the park and we tried to get as many people together who we could listen to. And the community center resulted from that. So I'm secretary of the Safe Streets, basically overseeing the building and making sure that when we have programs, there's someone here to unlock and lock the building. Cheerio are together for our events mm -hmm. so because there's very few of us all basically do as much as we can we meet so. once a month as a big committee um, and it's just different people from all different community organizations we never visualized that we would have come this far much of this project started because I'm a professor and I do research and I wanted to understand more about a community or a neighborhood what made you smile with the breakfast today? I did kind of the ask sheer you amount of that people can eat it always <laughs> amazes me I'm not kidding there's always room for more apparently but it's just so nice to know that people are coming in and that they feel comfortable coming yeah. into the space that they're not afraid to say, I want another egg. But that's why NOMA is really helpful right. because we can come together and we can look at the problems and see what we can do, but also look to each other as neighbors. We do these breakfasts because there are people in need. Because people tell us their stories and because they tell us their needs, then we get a better sense of what we should be doing in the community. Park is there basically because of our efforts to turn that lot into a usable park. A testament to what the neighborhood could do if they work hard enough to put it together. The fall festival is really huge here. Uh, it's, we just had our fourth annual one. Um, we get usually between 150 and 200 people to come out. Um, it's at Walnut Street Park, which is this very cute mini park, um, but it gets packed to the brim. Uh, we do catered food. There's tons of kid games. We do cookie decorating, um, which we get cookies donated from Insomnia Cookies. Mm -hmm. We do pumpkin painting, which is from J&K Plumbing. Originally was so just we had an excuse to talk to people. Now it's evolved. We don't do that with the festival. We just do it because it's a great way to give back to the community. The next big NOMA thing will be our Santa's workshop. It's our second annual this year. Uh, we do Santa's workshop so that kids can come and we get donated re-gifts from different people mm -hmm. and kids can come and pick out a gift for their parent or guardian. The principal of Horseman School came last year dressed as Santa, made mm -hmm. pancakes, and so there's a meal included with it as well. I bring my gifts to re-gift and they're, they're choosing it for somebody that they love. Yeah, they're different places where there are community meals, a Binghamton University student put that together and said, this is something that we know people need. Where can they get food? And then on the other wall, we were asking people what would they like to see in a place like this. We're trying to do things like fix the garbage situation. In Binghamton, we have to pay to have our trash taken away. And for a professor, it means nothing. But for people who live in this neighborhood, sometimes that's a little bit more money than they want to spend. You see all this litter around the neighborhood and you realize that's because people are saving their trash and it gets scattered by the cat. The recycling bins aren't very good. You really want to come in and say, oh, I'm the professor, I'm the expert. But really what you have to understand is that it's the people in the neighborhood who know what's best for them. Sometimes this is about getting money, and we do get a lot of support. We often have to have the local people designing the programs and deciding where to spend the money. I think cool. that'll do it, yeah. All right, thanks, I appreciate George. this. I've been thinking a lot about shared walks this year. They don't feel insignificant when I'm part of them and they're gradual and really collaborative. Whether your shared walk or contribution is a one-time thing or longer, here's how you can help out. First, for all things on Noma, you can visit the video description for the website link, or you can visit the website. Secondly, if you think this charity has earned some money to make change happen, 
happen, you've got to go to projectforaustin.com and vote for this charity. And that's it. Thanks for your time. Don't forget to donate, participate in the unforgettably hilarious live stream, and enjoy the shared walk of the 2019 Project for Awesome. Happy P4A and DFTBA.